Hello and welcome to another update of RPG Playground. This time I added some extra tile sets, so let's jump right in. If you go to ref map and then buildings, then we have this tile here, but the problem was that you cannot really properly stack them. So one of our community members, Marby, he actually edited the tiles so that now you can properly stack these tiles like this and then you have a nice stack. So that's a first small addition. And what else did I add? Well, if you go all the way to the bottom, then you see here four alternative ref map tiles. And when we click on the first one, the ground, you can see there's some grass here. There are some rocks and also some like edges and then like three different colors of these tiles. If you go to the second one, which is the outdoor and let's go up. You see we have some new trees here, which is basically autumn and spring tiles, especially these kind of trees are really nice and also the tall ones. But don't forget if you select a rectangle here, then you can easily like make a row like this, make them taller, make them shorter. So that's a really nice feature with the, what you can do with the rectangle. And next up we have some different crystals, some bushes and then also some bones, rocks in two different colors. And then this thing is also nice, it's some kind of bridge. So let's go to the rectangle tool again so you can make some kind of bridge here. And then I think it's the same underground as the alt ground. If you select this one, then that's like about the same underground. Let's go back to the outdoor, but I think that's about it. Yeah, the rest is more rocks. Third one is the alternative indoor. So we have a bunch of closets here, some beds, books, indoor plants, and then uh, some curtains. And if we go all the way to the bottom, then this one is also a very nice one because it's actually animated. Let's take the paintbrush. So as you can see, we now have this oven, which is animated. If you need the top, then those things are just in the normal ref map indoor i think yes let's go to the bottom so you could like place it up here place one up there ah i didn't place that one let's do it like this then so that's it for the indoor and then the final one is the shop which also has some really cool items some empty boxes some filled boxes with all kinds of stuff then we also have different labels. Now these things will be really cool once I implement shops. So then you can buy and sell things in these shops that you build. Let's go even further down. You have all kinds of military equipment. Here some dresses. Empty baskets. Then we also have candy stuff. And finally some Halloween things. And these crosses are also really cool. So. I'm pretty sure you can make some really cool levels with these things. And that's it for the extra tiles. So I'm really looking forward to view the levels that you create with these new tiles. And so I also want to show you what I'm working on right now. So as you know, we have this inventory dialog. And what I'm currently working on is if you select a ring, for example, you have this button equip. And if you click it, then the hero is using this ring. So if we go to equipment here, then you see we have head, neck, body, finger, hands and feet. And on the finger we have this ring. Same goes for hats, for example, or gloves. And also I have like a little indicator here to show that it's really equipped. So if we take another ring, then you see it will shift. And for the slots of the equipment, I will also make them configurable. So if we go here, and we go to data, we collapse the items and you see, we see here the equipment slots and you can have different ones. You can rename them, you can delete them, you can add some, so you can really customize it any way you want. And that's all I wanted to show you for this release. So go and try out the new tile sets. And if you created a cool level with those new assets, then definitely let us know. Have fun and see you next time. Bye.